Assalamu alaikum students moving forward to lecture number 4 on the bad debts chapter that is provision for doubtful debts we have already talked about the theory so now we are going to talk about from the calculation perspective in provision for doubtful debts and i'm going to give you a couple of examples but the first important thing that is that students need to learn in this is basically that there are different types of provision okay so the first one is basically that there is sir the general provision okay then you also have the specific provision and you have age based provision as well age based debts as well okay so we'll be doing past paper questions on these as well but let's first understand through a basic example what are these and what is their meaning of these general specific and age based provision okay so age based provision okay so these are the three provisions that students are usually tested on some of them some of the times you might be tested in the mcqs some of the times you might be tested in the theory paper question paper 2 numerics and analysis question okay so what is basically general provision so sir general provision is when the provision is applied to all receivables on a flat rate there is no identification of customers okay so it's basically the provision being applied to all receivables okay so you can say that provision being applied to all receivables regardless of knowing any customer there is no identification of customer it's the provision being applied to all customers on the flat rate on a percentage okay so on a fixed percentage or on the flat rate there is no identification of customer you don't know any customer in this okay so that is very important that you don't know any customer in this and i'll give you an example as well it's going to be very important example there is no identification of customer sir and we can see here that the example here the business policy is to make a 5% provision for doubtful debts on the remaining trade receivables okay so the business policy is to make 5% provision for doubtful debts on remaining trade receivables so this statement is basically a general provision okay so hope everyone got this that this is basically sir a general provision statement so this is basically general provision when a 5% flat rate is charged on the remaining trade receivables next we talk about students is going to be the specific provision where the business or the sole trader or the company is concerned about some particular customers okay so they are concerned about some particular customers that they are not going to pay okay so they are con concerned about some particular customers and that is why that's the word specific that a higher percentage is charged on customers who are more doubtful than others okay some particular customers are doubtful that they will pay or not okay so it's a higher percentage is charged on them basically for the specific provision so in specific provision you know that there is a particular person who is not going to pay he is more doubtful than the others so higher percentage is going to be applied on that specific customer okay so let me give you an example as well and then students will get better okay so then we talk about age based provision in a separate other case okay so example is going to be that let's say this is 2022 and 2022 year and your receivables are so your trade receivables your customers who are going to pay you later in the couple of months so receivables are $50000 okay and we are saying that receivables are 50000 at the end of the year that is basically 31st december 2022 your receivables are $50000 so customers will pay you this is the current asset that you are going to receive in the next year at the end of the year so you have to make a provision so based on how do you get the percentage rate that we will talk about as well so let's say that the general provision is basically 5% okay general provision is basically 5% and there is a person in this $50000 there is a person let's say mr x who owes us around $10000 okay who owes us around $10000 a person mr x who owes us $10000 and we are unsure about him we are doubtful about him whether he is going to pay us or not okay so mr x we are unsure about whether he will pay us or not so 
out of fifty thousand dollars the ten thousand is related to mr x who is doubtful and you have to create a specific provision for him okay so here we go this will be specific provision sir and this will be general provision of five percent okay so how are you going to work it out students it's going to be sir that out of fifty thousand dollars you are going to do like this okay out of fifty thousand dollars ten thousand are related to mr x okay so follow the working okay we're going to say that ten thousand are related to mr x and we are not sure whether mr x will pay or not so this is complete hundred percent amount that we are not sure about okay this amount we are completely not sure about whether mr x will pay or not and the remaining forty thousand dollars is basically other receivables okay these are basically other customers okay other general customers okay making up this amount so you will you will apply a general percentage on them okay you will apply a general percentage of 5% on them and this will be 100% applied why because we are not sure that mr x will pay his 10000 dollars or not hame pata nahi hai ki mr x pure 10000 dollars pay karenge nahi karenge and that is why this will be a complete specific provision sir this is sp specific provision that it will be complete 10000 dollars that mr x will not pay and 40000 into 5 percent you can calculate that will be 800 dollars okay so that is a rate that 5 percent rate that out of 40000 dollars that we have to receive we might not receive 800 dollars that will be general provision and in total you are going to say that the your amount for the provision calculated will be 10800 dollars you are going to add this amount okay so this is uh, one of the example that students gets it when we do pass paper you'll understand better how this is going to come in the question okay that is very important concept here students that 10000 is the specific provision here and 800 dollars 40000 into 5 percent it's going to be sir 5 4 is 20 okay sorry so it will be i think uh, calculation error here yes so there's a calculation error here it's going to be 40000 into 5% will be 2000 dollars my bad so uh, sorry i was explaining the concept that's why so it's going to be 12000 dollars is going to be basically the total provision that is specific provision is 10000 plus 2000 is dollars is the general provision that you are thinking that at least out of the 40000 customers that they owe us the value that they owe us 2000 you are not going to receive that is basically a general provision so total provision will be 12000 dollars and that is how you solve this example and case about general and the specific provision okay student so hope everyone gets this that what is general provision and what is specific provision as well another concept that is very important in this doubtful debts chapter is that they can ask this theory question as well students that how do you determine the rate of the provision for doubtful debts okay so how do, like this rate of 5% how do the how do the businesses got this rate that you have to charge 5% provision for doubtful debts as in the exist example as well similarly so what are the answers that you have for this that how why do you how to determine the rate so basically one of the main reasons of determining the rate of provision for doubtful debts is basically you take the economic conditions as well so you have to consider economic conditions that what is the rate going in the market because you understand with your past experiences as well that the because let's say the business is being running for 10 years okay so you know that out of your amount how much customers don't pay you okay out of 1 lakh dollars receivables so let's say your business is basically works on the credit model so you sell the goods on credit and you are thinking that how much people will not pay so you have your past experiences as as well with your customers with your debtors that whether they will pay or not so out of 100000 let's say some businesses will have 1% rate some businesses will have 2% rate 3% so based on your past experience the industry you operate in that is very important okay you based on your industry averages or the industry you operate in your working conditions okay working environment also will tell you the economic conditions let's say in the covid period you can say in the covid period that this general provision the percentage would be a lot high because you would expect a lot of people not paying back okay similarly past experiences you can say that uh, you know that this particular person have problems in the previous years as well he has not a good reputation mr x has not a good reputation of paying back to its uh, debt paying back to its supplier 
competitors, customers, okay? So paying back to its supplier, so that is not a good thing. So we'll say that past experiences also matter, the economic conditions, industry averages, okay? So these are all the reasons that you can write as well as there is another understanding that there is age of the debt as well. That is basically the concern here that what is age of debt we are going to learn that as well and there is also the understanding that about the credit worthiness of the debt receivable okay so what is the profile of the debtor as we talk about that what is the profile credit worthiness of mr x or you can say the receivables what is the credit worthiness of the receivables whether he is trustworthy whether he has a reputation in the market that he pays on time he takes the cash discount or does he always delay payments okay so it depends on those situations as well so students you can write this answer as well if this question is being asked that sir what is going to be how to determine the rate why do companies take three percent how this percentage is coming so it's a lot of combined factors that give you this rate okay we'll talk about age of debt in the next video